Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Jennifer Agumbia Day. If you're a returning subscriber, I see you. Thank you so much for always, always coming back to watch my videos. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. If you're a new subscriber, please say hello so I know you're new. Kindly subscribe and join my little YouTube family. Please help me, help me share my videos, talk to someone about my video, talk to someone about my channel, share my videos with your, with your network. If you have enjoyed my videos, if you have enjoyed at least one of my videos, then please you owe it to me. I beg you, share it with someone. Okay, let's get into today's video. Hmm. Today's video, guys, I want us to talk. Like, let's talk. <laughs> I was uh, I was on WhatsApp recently, and then I saw a post. That, that is the inspiration actually for this um, for this video. And then aside from that, I've also had somebody's real life experience, and then I also read another um, social media meme again concerning the same issue. And I feel like it is it is worth talking about really. If you're here and you find yourself in this situation and you think that the things I'm going to be talking about here are normal, then you need professional help. Sincerely, get someone, get a counselor, talk to somebody about your issue and they'll help you. And one thing I know that really always works is the word of God. The word of God is able to renew our minds completely from, you know, past hurts. And I'm sure that the reason why you're thinking the way you're thinking is not because of you know because you want to think that way is because of experiences and things that you must have seen these are the things that are influencing your thoughts uh, your thought pattern and are making you think that these things are normal please see someone talk to somebody about it i don't know what to title this video yet so i'm just going to talk about it i feel like there are abnormal relationship issues or abnormal relationship expectations that you know we should not embrace or we should not accept i don't have the, the meme right now because i'm using my phone to film right so i'm not able to read it because it's actually on my phone so i'm just going to paraphrase the meme the meme said she has married for her husband for a quite a number of time of, a, a number of years and ever since they've been married the guy has never cheated on her and she feels like if there's something wrong that she has gone through his phone, she has ransacked everything, and the guy has not cheated, and there's something wrong. She feels like, ah, ah, as a man, you should be able to cheat, so that, I don't know, I mean, like, why would you be in a relationship, maybe married for five years, happily married for five years, your husband is not cheating on you, and you feel like it is an issue that you need to bring on social media, that the guy is not normal, that there's something wrong with him, because he needs to cheat, because men should cheat, because normal men should cheat. Please, people in relationships expect that their boyfriends or their fiancés or their um, courting partners should cheat on them because cheating is normal. How is that a problem? How how is that even a problem in your marriage? Then the next issue I want to talk about is the issue of abuse. If you have not seen my video on how to identify an abusive relationship, please check it out. If you've not seen my video on how to develop a healthy self-esteem. Please check it out. You need a healthy self-esteem for you to be thinking that this is normal. You need a healthy self-esteem. You are battling with low self-esteem. You need to work on your self-esteem so that you know that you are not worthy of a man that beats. The next point is another meme that I saw, right? And she was talking about the boyfriend. She said the boyfriend consistently beats her every day because he wants to marry her and he's testing her to see how much of his anger issues she can take how much of his temper she can manage come on for god's sake if you're here and you have this mindset and you're watching this video i beg you in the name of god no man should test your ability to manage his anger he needs to deal with his anger you will not be the one to manage his anger you cannot be the person that he, he expects to come and manage his anger no 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 because of the desperation to get married that is why you have decided to put yourself in that kind of that kind of relationship first of all you should not be desperate to get married to that extent okay please if you're in that kind of relationship pack your bags and run Pack your bags and run. And then another issue I also want to talk about is women empowerment. Ladies, we need to empower ourselves. See, the other person I'm telling you that is a real life story is a case of 
this lady does not do anything she has not gone to school that much she doesn't have a business she does not have a job and she's living with this guy and this guy beats her up first of all the guy is not even officially married to her and this guy beats her up but she's taking it because there is nowhere for her to run she cannot manage herself she cannot take care of herself she cannot provide her own needs so she's living with this person who is giving her free food i mean why would she run away we need to continue to emphasize the importance of being independent as a woman your independence is not a case of being rebellious or not being able to submit to any man or whatever your independence is being valuable a man that values you will not be beating you in that relationship because first of all you'll be scared that you're going to go and because you, he knows that if you pack your bags and go you'll be doing very fine first of all the man is over married to you why would you even be in that kind of situation please you're not married to a man and you got pregnant, you gave birth for him, he's beating you. You cannot even and you cannot even empower yourself enough to this devil where you can pack your bags and go. God, I heard another story. That the girl said that if the guy doesn't beat her, he doesn't love her. That being in a relationship with a guy that doesn't beat is not a sign of love. This person has gone through serious abuse. I believe that's why this person is talking like this. Because if you have not experienced such level gross abuse physical abuse maybe from childhood maybe from previous relationships and then you automatically feel like beating is a show of love or abuse let me not say beating because beating makes it look good okay abuse physical abuse is a love language how is that a love language please value yourself enough go and watch my video on developing a healthy self-esteem value yourself is until they kill you do you know that nobody plans to kill anybody until it happens the poor man might just want to slap you, but then you just fall. That's the day you fall on a stool and you break your head and you die. Or that's the day you slip off the stairs and your brain, or you have a brain issue, or you are paralyzed. Is it until that happens, before you know that being in a physically abusive relationship is wrong? Girls are with boyfriends in universities. I hear stories of them being bullied. The man, the guy is beating you every day. You're not even his wife. He's beating you. He's eating your food. If you're able to talk yourself and tell yourself that this is not my fault, it is because he has a fundamental problem. There is nothing that you do that is what any man laying hands on you. Nothing. Nothing. He should control his temper. It's not because you made him beat you. No, no, no. Because there's another mindset that you say, it's my fault. I made him angry. That's why he beat you. No. It's not because you made him angry. It's because the guy has a problem. You know, the other day I was just thinking, and I was really sincerely worried for this girl. And I'm like, ah, how can I help her? How can I help her? How can I help her? I'm thinking, how can I help her? Because first of all, there is a fundamental laziness. Mental laziness. She is lazy. She doesn't want to stand up and work. She's looking for somebody that will take care of her. A financier. If you're looking for a financier, your life, he sees himself as the alpha and omega of your life. And he can treat you anyhow and do anything he wants to do with you. Because he knows that you have nowhere else to run to. I'm not here to break anybody's relationship. But if at all you're going through these things in your relationship, please reevaluate that relationship. Have a conversation with your partner if you love him that much. And hear from his side. Whatever response he gives you will make you understand. Because sis... If you're in a relationship, the people that are already married and they have been beating service, it's a different matter. If you're in a relationship and the guy is cheating on you and the guy is beating you, trust me, I promise you, I promise you that the same thing is what you're going to face in that marriage times 10. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're the chosen of the Lord. You are God's workmanship. You are God's precious little thing. You mean so much to God that he gave his only son for you. For your sake, he died for you on the cross of Calvary. No man or woman should treat you any less. No man or woman should treat you any less. Value yourself. And with this few points of mind, I hope I've been able to address certain issues. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you later. Bye.